morning. We have big plans. We are planning to go to Black Sand Beach, also Volcanoes Park. Hopefully we can do all of that one day. So I'm just, you know, so excited, but I know it's gonna be a lot of driving. Uh, right now we're just gonna go to the Voyager Club, grab some breakfast. Voyager Club is a hotel guest lounge where you can grab breakfast, buffet style, and appetizers in the afternoon. They also serve cocktails. So this is the ballroom originally. Um, it's temporary for everybody. <laughs> Always choosing friends. Always. Let's hit the road. No freeways over here. We didn't get very far. Stuck in traffic and there's no way to go around. We think something happened because coming. No one is going anywhere. There's only one road around the island. We get stuck for about half an hour. So we didn't actually see the like, accident they already like cleaned it up or was a head-on collision. We are going to the most famous black sand beach on the island. It doesn't feel like you're on an island over here. It kind of feels like you're driving on California coast. This is the most beautiful part of the road in my opinion. In Kona there was no wind. We are getting to the east side of the island. Oh look at those pretty horses. Beautiful. And you can tell it's a lot windier than on the east, uh, on the west side of the island. You can you can tell tell by the water. You can tell by all the you know plants that are blowing by the road. You can't really drive very fast over here because the road does not allow that. And we are here. Black Sand Beach. We are at Punaru Black Sand Beach. Lots of turtles. I mean, when you're lucky. And lots of black sand. It's pretty windy over here. It's not super windy today, but it's definitely windier than anywhere else we went. Um, still warm, a little cloudy. Lucky with the turtles, there's four. The last one is a baby. It's very small. And yeah, I mean, highly recommend this place. You do have to drive quite a bit, but it's worth it. I went to the bathroom. The bathroom does not look very good. But it had soap, which is really nice. What's that? Dry sand. So, see? It's pretty soft. And this one? It's still not like... It doesn't make your hands dirty or anything. Like little tiny pebbles. I was just talking to the lifeguards about how many rescues they have. They said they don't have that many, like maybe once a week. It's mostly when people go past the break and they go to the point, that's where it gets like dangerous. But they try to avoid that. They try to like, you know, revert them and come back to the shore before they go to the point. The lifeguard just told me that the currents are strong, so if you do get in the water, be careful. Best to come here before noon, just because the clouds are rolling in in the afternoon and stuff like that. So yeah, like it's, it's getting more windy, just like any east side of 
Hawaiian Islands, like like on Oahu, it's the same thing. Like when you go to Lanikai, Kailua, early in the morning you get the best weather. The later you go, the, the weather just changes and it gets more windy. We're gonna skip Volcanoes National Park for now and we're gonna go to Kalapana area. We're going from the Black Sand Beach towards Hilo and the vegetation over here is just different. Nothing really tropical over here, probably because we are like on higher elevation. It's just like that, pretty much all the same. So, snacks and all kinds of like drinks are definitely encouraged just to kind of like, you know, make you and keep you awake, but yeah. There's really not much going on by the road. That's the area where the newest Hawaiian land was created by lava. That was a really long drive. Not a lot of people here, but it's very far from everywhere, so maybe that's why. I'm fascinated by this red sand. Why is it here? I started to think that maybe people brought it here because it doesn't make sense any other way. Everything is black. Black sand, black rocks, black rava, everywhere. I bet it was incredible when the lava met the ocean. So windy. It's very interesting to see how this is lava and this is like sand, like at the black sand beach. It's, it's pretty soft. It's, um, it doesn't make it feel dirty or anything. It's just like black sand. So it's interesting to see how the lava becomes sand. I don't know how long we have to wait for this black sand to change into like um, lighter color of sand or if, if it ever does, I don't know. I have to Google that. That's interesting, very interesting. It's very shiny. When the sun is out, the rocks are very shiny. The lava is very shiny, I should say. Oh my god. Hot. It's hot over here. Windy, but hot. It's hotter than Oahu, 100%. It is. This road is full of natural speed bumps. Well, at least that's what I call it. This is Kehena Beach. They left the deep open for like open window and everything. It's clothing optional. We didn't go down there, just from the cliff, it did not look spectacular, so we decided not to go down.
People say this road is very beautiful. Yes, it's pretty, but it did not take my breath away. There is a few gorgeous spots though. This was my favorite part of the road. Very, very cool spot. So pretty. Good. This is Kalapana Kapo Kapo Road. And I think this is like the prettiest spot. That's not the main road. The main road is right there. So you're driving by, if you're not paying attention, you're gonna miss it. It was overcast and I bet when it's sunny it looks way way better. So many coconuts hanging. And they're actually full. Look how many is in here. This one is fresh. It just fell down. If it hits you, it can kill you. So we still have a plan to go to Volcanoes National Park today, but I don't know. This place is taking us too much time, but I think it's totally worth it. It's beautiful. In real life, it looks so much better than on video. This road got covered by lava flow. It all happened in 2018. So this is the old road, like that's you know how it used to be. And all of this is fresh. The road ends like that because of the 2018 lava eruption. So you gotta go around. That's it. And over there, there's like the youngest beach in Hawaii. Right there, that's the newest Hawaiian land. It's only six year old. Next stop, Volcanoes National Park. It's probably gonna take us a long time to get there. Volcano is not erupting right now, but we're still gonna go. We just got to Volcanoes National Park. Um, it's raining and it's pretty cold. And just to give you an idea how cold it is, in the bathroom when you wash your hands, the water is actually warm. And it's not like you have a choice, you choose like warm water or hot water or cold water, no. It's just like one water and it's warm. We just parked the bike, steaming vent. 
Look how steamy. And it's actually hot. That's that's the lava. Down below. Oh my god, it's hot. Like it's it's actually burning. So that's earth. You know, like in the making. <laughs> if that makes sense. And it's been it's been cooking like that for a while, so you can only imagine when you go to like fresh lava. This this is hot. Like it's actually cold now, so it's, it feels nice. <laughs> oh, that was hot. <laughs> okay, I'm out. This definitely does not feel like. Hawaii and so you put all the layers that you have in the car I don't have that many this is the only <laughs> warm piece of clothing that I have so we're gonna go with it this feels more like Utah <laughs> 0 0.1 mile to go I don't know if we're gonna go that far it's cold warm up a little those steaming fans are there for a reason there's a whole bunch of them around but this one is the most convenient the only problem is it makes you like a little wet you know like sauna <laughs> it's not warm it's definitely not warm it smells funny here okay so the tube is this way we just asked someone, they said it's not far. They said it's extremely beautiful, so we'll find out. The walk to the tube is actually very pretty. So this tube was made like that, the lava craved it like that, <laughs> made it like that, or however you want to say it, that's pretty insane. I'm so glad I came. Walk through the tube takes probably two minutes, including all your stuff. It's not long at all. I could see it. The weather was definitely not cooperating. Pretty cool. We came to Kilauea Overlook and we're gonna go and see it. Let's hope. So I guess it's gonna be like that. So this is Kilauea Crater and when it's erupting you can see like the lava flow over here but it's not erupting right now it's been a while since this erupted last oh my god it's so cold you see steaming spots over there i guess if we go there we can be warmer but we ain't going it feels like 45 degrees it's so cold <laughs> does not want to open it. <laughs> open it open it oh my god it's too cold oh it's freezing i know i said it feels like 45 but it's actually 62. the wind is so cold it's just very cold and that's why it feels cold God, let's go and see sunset. I don't know if I want to get out. We just got back. It's 8.40. It took us like one hour and 40 minutes 
from the volcano park. It was a long drive. <laughs> Ooh, it's good to be back. Not windy. The major problem with this island is that it's just so big. And you know, there's only so much you can do during the day. <laughs> and now the day is also shorter. So we were kind of like limited. 